Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be doing some YouTube vlogs of my model railway. I'm starting, just starting it out. Um, my first vlog is going to be connecting up um, my Arduino to control some of the sensors, maybe the turnouts, signals, and I'm going to be using JMRI to do this. I'll be putting a link at the bottom for the JMRI, which is a community software. It's free to download and use. It's excellent piece of software for model railways and can be used on multiple DCC stations. Um, I'm going to be setting up just the Arduino to start with like I said and hopefully I'll be setting up an SPROG later on to control some more bits and I just wanted to show you how I'm setting this up using it's using the CMR, CMRI uh, library on the Arduino system. Well, I'll quickly just go over some of the code, I've got it up on the screen. I'm not going to go over it all. It's not. I'm not a code expert. I've just been playing with it for quite a few years and been able to pick up bits and pieces. Um, I'll just get rid of some of the bits that are not going to be used in this demonstration, like these. These are for the turnout, which I'll show in a later video. So the code. The first thing you have to do is you have to download the also 485.h and the cmri.h libraries and then install them into your Arduino library and then restart your Arduino up so you've got them all set up. Hopefully you know how to use an Arduino because I'm not going to go over the demonstration of all the Arduino. I've set up a CMR RI address 1 and I've set up an LED 13 which is the onboard LED that I'm going to be controlling on the Arduino and I've also set up a second LED on pin 2 which you can see here LED pin, is it, which is pin 9, sorry not pin 2, pin 9 and I've wound up with resistor but can't limit it to ground so we'll be controlling two LEDs via the JMRI or Panel Pro as it is. Um, these are, need to be set up to configure up the CMRI and we need to make uh, pin mode outputs for LED and L2 so that we're setting them both pins to outputs. We have to start the process CMI process with this part and we do a digital write for both LEDs, LED and LED2 with CMRI, sorry get it right, dot get dash bit and the first one's going to be bit 0 and the next one's going to be bit 1. We can send 48 bits from the Panel Pro to the Arduino and we can read 24 bits from the Arduino back to the Panel Pro. So we, in theory we can have 48 outputs in the Arduino controlled by the Panel Pro and we can read 40, 24 digital sensors back into the Panel Pro. And for every bit that comes in, so what it's going to do on bit 0, if bit 0 comes in as a 1, it'll tell, tell the LED on board on pin 13 to turn on. And if bit 0 comes in as a 1, um, or sorry 0, it'll tell the LED on board to turn off. And the same thing will happen with L2. Now we need to upload this by clicking the upload button up here to your Arduino. I'm not going to do this because it takes a bit of time and I've already done this on this Arduino. But if you click that, you'll have a, a status bar along here which will upload it to your Arduino and the RX and TX lights in the Arduino should flash. When doing this, if you have already started up your JMRI, which I've got running in the background, you do need to close this down before you can upload any programs to your Arduino or you'll have a conflict between the serial ports because it's using both serial port programs using one serial port. So hopefully you've done that and it's all uploaded all right and you've got no errors. So you can minimise that. And I think we start up, if you haven't started it up, start up your panel pro. I'm just going to close down the light one, which will take a bit of time. Right, so when you first start up your panel pro, if it's the first time you used it, you might get a configuration window start up. And if you haven't had that configuration window start up for some reason, we'll go to the edit button and we'll bring up the preferences to start it up ourselves. Mine's already set up, but I'll go through each bit step by step. So the system manufacturer, for this one what we're going to be setting up is the CMRI, can't get that right. So we'll be setting up that system manufacturers that and you can see down here there's a lot of other DC manufacturers for their um, 
control stations, and it's the S prog that I'll be using at a later video. So we can control quite a bit with this uh, bit of software. And the system, uh, the system connection we're going to be using will be serial because we're connected by the serial communication. The serial port, on mine, is going to be COM5, which is where I've connected my Arduino to on the PC. You can find this either going to your um, device manager on your PC, or an easier way if your Arduino uploaded OK. Bring up your Arduino IDE software. Go up to your tools. You should already have done this to upload. And you'll see down there on port, it says COM5. So I'm definitely connected to COM5 for my Arduino. Our connection prefix is going to stay as C. And our connection name, I've given it Arduino, but you can write whatever you like in here for your station because you might later on add more Arduinos, which I'll show you a demonstration later, um, hopefully. And so you might want to give these different names. Just to um, say that we're connecting up, up more Arduinos later, that's a more advanced um, topic that I'll be going through. It's You can't connect up multiple Arduinos via USB ports to your computer. So you can't have four or five USB ports connecting up to different Arduinos um, and then adding different channels up the top here. It just won't work. It, on the CMRI, it only allow one serial communication through the CMRI. So we're, we're just demonstrating the one at the moment. When all this is done, you can click on the configure CMRI nodes, leave it as address zero, and click add nodes. Mine comes up with an error. Um, that's purely because I've already set it up and it's saying it's already in use. You shouldn't have an error. Hopefully it should, should all come up saying it's been done. Click on the done. And we should now have all this ready to save. We must save this so that configuration can be set up. Click on the save and this window should disappear. And you might get a, a prompt to restart your JMRI. You need to restart it now for the configuration to be set up within the panel pro. So if you don't get a prompt, close it all down and restart it up again. And when you restart it, you should have in black along here the Arduino using serial on COM5. And that should be in black. There should be no red warning lights there. Um, anything wrong here in red, then you need to go over what you're doing, see whether you, there's something you've done wrong. Um, and if you have any problems, go over to my blog. I'll be putting up a link at the bottom. Um, it gives you a more step-by-step -step guide and hopefully it's easier to follow. So we've all gone well, we've now got this in black and we've got our Arduino code up and running on the Arduino. So we're now all connected and ready to start controlling the onboard LEDs using Panel Pro. The first thing we do then is click on Tools and go to Tables and then go over to Lights. And on here we're going to click on Add to add a new light. So our system connection will be Arduino, we're not using the internal. We're using whatever I'm using Arduino. If you called your site else, whatever you called your Arduino during the prefix set up earlier, um, that should be showing up in this window. Our address is going to be 1001 for a bit zero. So if it is bit one, it'd be 1002. If it is bit two, it'd be 1003. So you always add one on. So bit 40, um, bit 20, it'd be 21 or 021 like that. So for now, I'm doing the onboard one, which is set at bit zero, so the address is 1001. The username, again, you can put whatever you like here. I'm going to put L1 for light, being simple, and I'm going to click the create new. And you see at the back here, a new tab, or a new line is just set up on your table. You can now close this down. It gives you a warning. This warning is purely to say, say you need to save these tables before you close down Panel Pro, otherwise you'd lose everything. So before we start demonstrating this, we'll save it. It's good. Um, it's good to get in the habit of saving this every time. Click on Store, File, Store, and Store Configuration and Panels. And I've already got one set up called Test, which I'll save and override. And um, the reason why I say it's good to get in the habit of doing that straight away, I've set up quite a few tables before. Um, closed down Panel Pro and forgot to save my tables. I have to go back and then reset it all up again and it can be a right pain. So now we have the table with um, system code, uh, address 1001, and it's got a CL for the CMRI on L for light. I've given it a username of L1, and at the moment the light is off. So if I click on this, 
you look at the video in the background over here, you see that my onboard LED, which is the LED on the actual Arduino, which is connected to pin 13, is being turned on and controlled now by the Panel Pro. Now, if you remember on the Arduino code, we also set up um, L2 on pin 9, and I've given that a bit address of 1. Um, we're now, I'll now add another light so we can show you a demonstration of running two lights by the Panel Pro. So we click Add again, same as we did before, leaving the system as Arduino. We're changing the address now to 2 because we're on bit 1. And we're gonna change, I'm going to change the, the name of it to L2. Again, you can put whatever you like in here. And then click Create. Don't worry about the warning, I said earlier. And I'll save this to get in the habit of saving and it'll override my configuration. And there we have address 1002, 1001, L1 and L2, um, both in the off state. So if I turn this one on, you can't see the LED in the picture there, sorry about that, bring that over. It's not brilliant, I'll try and darken it down a bit. But you can just about see, it's not the best of LEDs really for demonstration, but hopefully you can see that LED switching on and off, which is controlled by the program. I'll try and get it bent round a bit if I can. Yeah, that's even worse. But you can see, yeah, you can just about see when you're turning that on and off. And I can also control the onboard one separately while the one on pin nine is still on. And turn pin nine off and turn the pin 13 on, on and off at the same time. So we can control multiple outputs now. Um, like I said, 48 outputs now by the Panel Pro. These outputs at the moment are only controlling LEDs. You can't put a lot of um, current on the Arduinos. If you're going to do that, um, you need to connect them up to relays or using MOSFETs or something. I'll do a demonstration of that at a later date. Um, but we can now control, obviously, your lights, your signals lights, or your building lights on your model railway. Um, we can also, as I'll demonstrate later, can start controlling servos, which can be for automatic working, um, either working your turnout points or controlling automatic gates closing or level crossings. Um, but for now, that's controlling just the two LED lights, which is most of what this video is about. I'll close this down and bring up the panel to show you some other bits. That will close down in the background. It takes a long time to close down. It might be something to do with my computer and yours might close down a bit quicker. There it goes. I'll get rid of it. Leave that open. Right, so if you go over to your Panel Pro main menu and click on the CMRI and then go down to a list of assignments, you see over here that we've got showing the output bits, 24, uh, 48 output bits, 24 input bits. Showing the output bits, we have our two addresses that we set up. So 1001 on saying bit 1, or bit, but be bit 0 on the Arduino, so you've just got to remember that. 1002 address, which is bit 2 but it'd be bit one on the Arduino, so it's always one back. You soon get used to it. And the names of what I've called them. So your whole list of your 48 devices that you're gonna connect up to your Arduino will be shown up on this um, assignment list. And then you can see down the bottom, we've got 48, and I've got one set up at the bottom, which is for later demonstration. You can see this on my blog if you want. And this, is, this will be showing you how to set up the well, you won't see it in the blog at the moment. I haven't done it yet. But it's showing you how to set up the servos, control the servo points. And if you click on show input bits, you can see you've got 24 input bits over there, um, up to one. So we've got 24 devices or sensors that we can read from our model railway. Um, that's pretty much all I'm going to be showing in this video. It gives you a good demonstration that we could be actually having sensors on the your model railway. It could be relay sensors or... Um, maybe light sensors or even current devices that you can connect up to your Arduino. So you could do proximity, um, check, you could check where your train is around the layer as it goes around and we'll demonstrate how we can control signals using these sensors or how we can control turnouts and as the turnout changes we'll control the signals that go from red or green um, etc. It, it opens up a quite a lot of things that you can do with one Arduino. Well, I hope you enjoyed looking, watching. Um, go over to my blog if you're interested. It has a uh, more far guide. And I'll be putting some links in the bottom for the, my blog and for 
um, the J JMRI um, software that you need to download. Um, if you enjoy look, watching, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be adding some more. Um, soon I'll be adding some sensor inputs and doing a demonstration on that, and then hopefully get the servo demonstrations up and running within the next few weeks. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.